Man, this light looks really nice. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Toucan Smart Sconce Light. They did send me this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this item or finding out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead and check it out and do your shopping from there. Here's how it comes packaged to you in a really nice retail box, showing a lot of great features, installation instructions, and everything else you could possibly want to know about this device. It even has screenshots with the QR code from the app right there. This will work with iOS and Android devices. This is a wireless unit. It's battery operated. It's powered by AA batteries that can last at least 200 hours of use. It's remote control. You can use it from your phone. Works with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. And it can also be powered by a USB port as well. So we're showing 50 lumens max, Wi-Fi, 200 hours like we said, Three-step, easy setup, no wiring. So it's got seven RGB LEDs, Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz, six AA batteries, lampshade fabric in metal. So approximately one and a half pounds. Again, they got the QR code for the app as well. Now let's go ahead and open it up. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see we got the vintage gold mount right here. This is gonna go right on your wall, just like that. You're gonna put the screw in there and then set it on. This looks great. Definitely nice metallic construction right there. I like the color a lot. We then have your nice shade right here for the light as well. That's gonna slide on after you install that on the wall. We have six AA batteries. They're Energizer batteries. It's nice to see some name brand AA batteries. They even give us a paper tape measure as well for installation. We have a limited warranty notification. We have your user guide right here. Very short and sweet and simple, right to the point. Everything can be done within the app and you have a lot of instructions on the product packaging as well. We have your two mounting screws and wall anchors. They even give us a nice tack as well to use. And last but not least, we have the light right here itself. You can see all seven LEDs right there. Looks great. We got a main power button right there. On this side, we can see the micro USB port and a set button with a little, looks like indicator light as well. On the back, we can even see another mounting hole right there, which is cool for the light to go on. And it just looks really nice. Got their branding on there. And then if you need to install the batteries, you go ahead, you just push that off and there's where all six AA batteries are gonna go. So now guys, let's go ahead, let's get those batteries installed. All right, you can see I got all six AA batteries in there and then we just gotta slide the cover right back on like so. Now go over to the iOS or Android app store and download the Toucan app, scan the QR code if you need to, and let's get this set up. So we're back now with the app downloaded and I have the light set up. I'm gonna show you guys how to get everything installed. It's really simple and easy. So we'll kind of do it in reverse order right here. So you can see we got the main bracket and base and there's different pieces of metal that this back is gonna slide through. So if I do it backwards, you can get a feel for what it's gonna do, just like that. So now we go ahead, slide them in. It's a perfect fit and that is how the shade is installed on there. Then you just take the light and you can see right here, we're just gonna go ahead slide it in place. That's how it fits and everything works great. Now let's go back to the app and finish getting this set up. Once you have the app downloaded on your iOS or Android device and you sign in or create a profile, you'll be at this home screen within the Toucan app right here. So you can see we've got a dashboard, events, and settings. Go ahead, hit that plus icon right here to add a new device so we can set up this light. We can see a couple different options for adding devices. I recognize this picture from the first one, so let's go ahead and select that. Now we can choose where we want to add it to in a new group, or we can even enter a custom group name. Let's go ahead, let's just select hallway. Make sure Wi-Fi on your smart device is turned on and connected. Go ahead, hit next. There we go, we can see our Wi-Fi information now. So you gotta connect to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network in order to proceed. So go ahead, enter your information now, and then hit next. Now we're being prompted to scan the QR code on the back of the smart light bar, so let's go ahead and do that now. Got the light out, I can see the QR codes, let's go ahead 
Let's select scan, bring it up to the code. It found it right away. Press the set button at the bottom of the smart light bar for three seconds to connect. So there's the set button. Gonna hold it for three seconds. It's got a blue flashing light now. So it's showing it's ready for connection. If you can maybe see that in the camera, it might be hard to pick up there, but it is flashing blue and we're ready to hit next. The light was successfully added and we can go ahead and select finish. Now we're ready to start using the light and we have a lot of nice helpful tips and tricks from within the app to learn how to set the light up. So we can see we can adjust the color set schedule and timer and then we can turn this group of lights on or off for the living room or the hallway whatever we have it so here it is it's the hallway light and now we get all these awesome settings to go through and learn how to control this device and what sort of features we get so the first setting we can change is the color and it's as simple as just dragging around this marker throughout this rectangle to get whatever color you desire Everything looks great. It's going to be harder to see it on the camera just because of the lens and what appears to be a flicker. But they all look really nice. Then we have your normal mode if you want 50% power. And then your super bright mode, which almost fluctuates in power. So it starts weaker and gets stronger. Normal and back to power saving right there. So that's the color settings we can change. Now let's look at the themes. So we have a warm light theme. We have an energetic theme. We have a night light theme. A romantic theme. A party theme. A cheerful theme. A leisure theme. Peaceful theme and relaxing theme. You can see at the bottom too, we can even customize the theme if we want. So we could go ahead, we could choose a color, hit save, and there it is right there. We have our own custom theme, depending on what color you might like and want to add there. Next up, we can see at the bottom, we have your scheduling functionality. So now we can schedule this light to come on and off at certain times throughout the day. So we can go ahead, we can hit edit, and it's gonna walk us through how to schedule it. So what do we want? Turn on at which time? So you can select it by hour and minute, hit done. Turn off at which time? So you can select hour and minute and hit done. So let's go ahead, let's select a different hour. So then we at least have total of one hour. Time zone, United States, you can select whatever time zone you're on. And then when do you want it to repeat? So do you want this to repeat however many days you want during the week? Hit done. You can select what color if you want it to come on, a certain color. Hit save, hit save, and then you've successfully added a schedule right there. They also have a nice timer built in too, so you can select one through six hours for a timer. And then the last setting we have is our device, so basically we can just view it right here. There's the device info. You can update the firmware if it's available or you can edit the name right there as well. Or you could remove the device if you want. And then we have this settings icon right here too. So we have the name again and firmware. So guys, that's just a quick overview of all the great features you have. And then back from within the home screen at your dashboard, you can just hit that power button and turn the light on or off. So now let's try to set it up with Amazon Alexa. So to set it up on Amazon Alexa, go into your Amazon Alexa app, go into the top left hand corner. We need to add a new skill in game right there. So select skills in games. Then in the top right hand corner, select the search bar and we got to search for Toucan. So we got to add the Toucan skill to Amazon Alexa. There's Toucan right there. We can go ahead and select it. We're going to be prompted to enable it and then enter our username and password. Once we sign in, it will add the device for us. There we go. You can see Amazon Alexa has successfully been linked with Toucan. Now we're ready to try out some voice commands. So I got Amazon Alexa pulled up on my phone. We're ready to issue our first command. We're going to tell it to turn on and change a color at the same time. Alexa, turn on hallway and change color to red. Okay. 
There we go, it just turned the light on and changed the color to red. Now we can adjust the brightness as well. Remember the levels were 20, 50, and 100%. Right now we're at 20%, so let's increase the levels. Increase brightness on hallway to 100%. There we go, just increase the brightness to 100% for us. We can also tell Alexa to turn it back down. Turn hallway brightness to 50%. Okay. There we go, Alexa just adjusted the brightness to 50%. And lastly, we can tell Alexa to turn it off. Turn off hallway. Okay. There we go, so Alexa works great. Overall, I think this light's really simple to use. I like the flexibility of being able to recharge it. You could even remove it and put it in different spots around your house, depending on how you want to mount it. I'd like to see it be a little bit brighter, but this isn't made to like light up your whole room. This is made to be like a reading lamp, a decorative lamp, a night light, that sort of thing. So it's great for hallways, stairwells, you know, right by your bedside. And I love that it's got the RGB flexibility in those really cool scenes as well. So if you're interested in this product at all, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Hit that like button for me, subscribe to my channel. We have new content coming out daily and don't want you guys to miss anything. Thank you again for being here. Give us a follow online, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Follow us on Twitch and join our Discord server too. Don't forget the link to this is below. You can also reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns. We'd be happy to answer them for you or point you in the right direction. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.